Today, I want to share with you a story. Last year, in April 2023, I did manage to climb Mount Kenya. That was one of my greatest achievement. Yes, I did summit Mount Kenya. But how did I get there? This was a goal for me back in 2022. And I said, yes, I want to do Mount Kenya. But by the end of the year, I hadn't gotten a plan to how I was going to do that. So I remember one day I was just uh, meeting with some friends from my biking community and we were just talking and I said, yeah, I would like really to do Mount Kenya. I like hiking. And they told me there's a group called Let's Thrift. They do organize hikes all around uh, the country, different places, and they had a hike planned for Mount Kenya. So I checked about, and this was towards end of November. And they had planned a hike for people to go and summit Mount Kenya on the 1st of January 2023. So I had about a month. And I asked myself, am I really prepared to do this within a month? They had already prepared because they had some previous hikes that they had done. I didn't know that you need to do several hikes to prepare for Mount Kenya. So they had done some and there was the cost implication. It was quite expensive to pay for that specific trip. And also they had all these other costs like the gear that you need to have to be able to summit Mount Kenya. So I just thought about it and I thought I can't just do this to hit this goal by the end of the year and then probably not have the best experience. Then another meeting with the League of Young Professionals, LYP, accountability meeting. I think it was 12th of December. We had gone to Karura. We were talking and I said, this was my goal in 2022. I wanted to do Mount Kenya, but I haven't gotten a way or a plan to do that. And one of the ladies just said, oh, by the way, I'm in a group and we are planning to do Mount Kenya in 2023, April. I said, that is good. Hook me up. She introduced me to the group. I joined. They had already done only one hike to Ngong Hills. And that same month, I had already done Gong Hills separately. So I was like, okay, we are already even. So in January 2023, we did Kilimambogo. In Feb, we did Mount Longerot. In March, we did Elephant Hill. And in April, that Easter weekend, I did Mount Kenya and summited. It was so great. What are some of the lessons you can learn from this in terms of how you can achieve your goal? Number one, you need to be very specific in terms of what do you want to achieve. Saying, I just want to hike mountains. That is not as clear as I want to hike Mount Kenya. You also need to have some time limit to it. I want to do it by this time. As much as I wanted to hike it by 31st of December, I did it the next year. But that time constraint really made me go out there and ask for help. And that's the other lesson I want you to do. Share your goals, of course, with people who can help you and ask for help. Had I not shared maybe my challenge that I have not been able to achieve this goal, this lady, Tabitha, shout out to Tabitha, LYP, would it have said, by the way, we are in a group that we are going to Mount Kenya. And so the next lesson is surround yourself with people who are like-minded. The fact that I joined this group of people who are planning to go to Mount Kenya, we had a common goal and we supported each other along the way. And the other thing I would say, have an accountability buddy or group where you keep each other accountable based on the goals that you have set for yourself. Hold them accountable, allow them to hold you accountable. And the other thing, do the work. We have these goals, we have these dreams, our desires of what we'd want to have, be, do, but there's also the work component part of it. And be prepared to do the work. Yes, I did all these hikes. I had to buy the gear. It costed me money, time, and effort. So be willing to pay the price. Hopefully that gives you an insight in terms of how would you approach achieving your goal this year 
And until our next conversation here at Daily Motivation Podcast with me, Daniel Mutuku, I'll see you then. Or as I like to say, okay, we will talk then because you can see me on the podcast. Bye-bye. Stay motivated. Stay active. Stay focused on your goal.